it should go without saying, but as was deeply impressed on me during my seven years in the U.S. Justice Department, our country must always stand tall for integrity and the rule of law without fear or favor. We must insist on the rule of law. That's the foundation of everything else. As you can tell from my remarks, I care a great deal about the kind of government we have in Washington, and I hope to see the Republican Party assume once again the mantle of being the party of Lincoln. It upsets me that our energies as a society are being sapped by the president's culture of divisiveness in Washington. The United States was founded in the spirit of national unity. America is stronger and can afford to be more generous when it is united rather than divided. There is a place and time for opposition and dissent. There is always room for healthy debate, but there should be no hatred, no intimidation, no name calling between the various arms of the federal government or between groups of citizens. Like President Reagan, like President Eisenhower, our leaders in government should seek to unite us and make us all proud to be Americans and never ever seek to divide us. Because of the many concerns I've talked about today, I have established an exploratory committee to pursue the possibility of my running for the presidency of the United States as a Republican in the 2020 election. I encourage those of you who are watching the current administration nervously but saying nothing to stand up and speak out when lines are crossed in dangerous ways. We cannot sit passively as our precious democracy slips quietly into darkness. Congress must do its duty, and as citizens, we must do ours.